Shit head on a float. Let me get the net. He was sandbagging it too. I was just talking to a guy the other day at the boat ramp and he's like, hey, I really want to catch them sheep's head on a float like you do. And I said, well, to tell you the truth, <laughs> this is just a bycatch. I ain't looking for these. I just happen to catch these. I'm looking for reds and trout. That's what I'm looking for. But then, of course, one of these jumps on every time the tide slows down. So, when float rig fishing, we're not necessarily going after L shithead. <laughs> oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. Sitting here on the inside of the North Jetty, I caught the year's first Jack Creval. Mark that in your calendar first Jack Creval. The Spanish and Blues, of course, have been around, but today was the first Jack Creval. All right. On, 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 baby. Oh, red bass. Red bass. Looks like a keeper. Red bass. Come on. First of the incoming tide, it just actually started to turn. Well, I guess this is payback for uh, my charter texting me at 7 o'clock this morning and telling me they're not coming, him and his wife. Just wonderful. Boy, this guy has got a lot of spunk. So I took his shrimp and went fishing and I caught some whiting and now I caught that one. Nice little keeper red bass. I'm sure it's a keeper. Just the way I like them, 21 and a half inches. Take these all day long. He found the jig and Mr. Flatty. There's a little bit of everything in here.